When it comes to icons of the Mercedes-Benz world, the Galanda wagon is right up there. Since the late 1970s, it's been one of the world's most capable off-roaders. But now, the mighty G-Wagon is a little bit funkier. As part of a 2016 model year update, Mercedes has gone for some bright colours, as an option at least. There's Alien Green, Galactic Beam or Solar Beam, among others. But the latest updates to the G-Wagon go deeper than the paint. The suspension has been tweaked to improve driving dynamics. Never a strength of the car that still uses the same body and underpinnings of that original 1979 model. The 3-litre twin-turbo V6 and G63 AMG also get a fraction more grunt. While there's an all-new G500 which uses a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 to slot between those other two. But it's off-road where the G-Wagon does its best work, and today we're taking it on a purpose-built course designed to show just what that boxy wagon can do. So here we're coming up to a fairly steep bit. All I can see is the big boxiness of the bonnet here, so let's see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> With a decent angle. So we can feel that wheel articulation, the right rear hanging in the air. Um, lock the diff and off we go. It's all about tradition in the G-Wagon, you haven't got uh, too much fancy stuff, so no adjustable height suspension or anything like that. Um, and yeah, just keep it simple. It's always been about being simple, this one. Occasionally it's kicking a wheel up a tiny bit, but you can also feel it um, really working the suspension quite hard. and. Uh, and plonking it down into the areas you want them to be. And of course we've got loads of ground clearance here, so um, you can attack some pretty decent stuff and not enough to worry about it. I'm gonna get this bit right, eh? Jesus. Looking good? Okay. Not sure how to go going off a bridge though. It's pretty muddy here today, so we are having to get a bit of pace up occasionally just to get through all that slop. Here we are in Germany, not far from Frankfurt, one of the big centres, and uh, you almost reckon you could be in somewhere in Asia, it's looking a bit like that. <laughs> So getting over some fairly serious rocks there, um, you could hear the uh, the mud flaps just scraping a little bit, but it's amazing what it's doing there in terms of positioning the wheels and getting over it effortlessly. One thing with the G500, being a petrol engine, uh, your engine braking isn't quite as good. So even though we're in low range, bunged it in first gear, we're still going to use a little bit of brake over here so that we don't go nosing into what is an extremely um, steep bit. This engine in this car though, this is a, a 4 litre twin turbo V8, so it's straight out of the uh, latest C63 AMG, the AMG GT, the hero car of the AMG range. It's been detuned a little bit for this car, but there's still plenty of snot. All these hills, absolutely no problem getting up them. Not, not that, not that not left, eh? <laughs> Try again. <laughs> so it may be hugely capable, but you can get it stuck. I've just done it. <laughs> but uh, I didn't quite listen to uh, instructions there. I had to keep a little bit more left. We're looking at a really slippery area here. So uh, a bit more pace and a bit more, yes. um, okay. a bit more keeping it to the left. <laughs> Let's give it a go. There we go, we get there eventually. <laughs> so even though we're in this incredibly capable, incredibly rugged off-roader, um, we still... I tell, <laughs> I tell you, that is... We still have the physics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That was pretty cool. We were on about a 30 degree angle coming down the hill sideways, so not bad. There's not much grip back there, I've got to tell you. It doesn't have some of the latest fancy electronics and so on that you get in, you know, Range Rovers, those sorts of things. So uh, traditional locking differentials. Um, yes, we've got traction control, but we don't have hill descent control, for example, so uh, you're regulating the brakes yourself. So there it is, a lap that the G-Wagon likes. Um, look, on the road it's still pretty marginal in terms of how it drives and how it steers, all those sorts of things. But in all that sort of stuff, the really challenging stuff, uh, that's where it's in its element. It is absolutely phenomenal, the sorts of things it can do. The new G-Wagon goes on sale in Australia early in 2016.